This week on What the Heck Are You Eating? Joy Bauer investigates your favorite microwave snack, popcorn. Imagine watching a movie without popcorn. Most of us can't. Annual consumption of popcorn in the United States exceeds 1 billion pounds, and microwave popcorn makers sell 3 billion bags of the stuff every single year. So I'd say it's time to find out what the heck are you really eating. Let's take a look at the ingredient label of a leading bag of popcorn. First is obviously popcorn. Next we have salt and partially hydrogenated soybean oil. Okay, that's a trans fat, the most toxic of all fats. Yikes. Wait, fish and milk. I bet you didn't know that was in your popcorn. Here's more you might not have known about your favorite snack. Microwave popcorn became common about 25 years ago. The first version of microwavable popcorn had to be stored in the refrigerator. But in 1984, a shelf-stable version was launched and became the first mass-marketed microwave popcorn. Now for the bad news. While popcorn can be a healthy whole grain snack if it's prepared in the right way, manufacturers often coat the lining of the microwave popcorn bags with chemicals that keep the oil and the other ingredients from soaking through the paper bag. The FDA warns that chemicals break down when heated into a substance called perfluorooctanoic acid, PFOA. If you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be eating it. High exposure has been linked to cancer, infertility, and other health risks. Some companies are working on phasing out these chemicals in the popping bags. A second potential danger in microwave popcorn is diacetyl, the ingredient found in the fake butter flavoring. In response to the concerns regarding the risks of diacetyl exposure, a number of microwave popcorn manufacturers have discontinued using it in their products, but many experts argue that the replacement compounds are no safer. So how can you make a healthier popcorn? Well, cheer up popcorn lovers, because there's an easy way to avoid the potential hazards of the microwave popcorn bag. First step, get rid of it. You can actually pop corn in a microwave using a plain old brown bag. Simply open it up. You're gonna add a quarter cup of kernels, fold it over twice, and pop it right in the microwave. So easy. Plain and healthy, no added gunk. But if you wanna jazz it up, just mist it with some oil spray. And then you can add chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, cinnamon, Parmesan cheese, a dash of salt, black ground pepper, or follow my lead. I like a few dashes of hot sauce. It's spicy and totally delicious. Mmm. Now that you know what the heck you're eating, dive in and enjoy. If you want to see more What the Heck Are You Eating next week, subscribe now. And don't forget to watch Recipe Rehab, where our chefs compete to take your recipes from fat to fab.